Can someone please just give me a valid reason as to why they're voting for Kamala Harris? So far, the only two that I've heard is because she's a woman and she's black. I'm from the exact same people that can't define what a woman is and who say not to judge people based off the color of their skin. Okay, thought we learned our lesson with Obama, but apparently not. It's actually terrifying that this is the type of woman that people want as the president of the United States. They really want a woman that's known for using her mouth to get to the positions that she's in. And I don't mean public speeches. But then again, based off the morals of the women of the left, not surprising. Don't get me wrong, I'm not against having a woman president, but I'm not gonna vote for someone just because they've got a cooch. Especially one that is pro-defund the police and open border. Those are the same ones that say that Trump is trying to take down the democracy and you don't even realize what's happening in front of your own eyes. You now have a candidate that you did not vote for. This has never happened before. All you are is a puppet in their game. I thank you for your service of being a little social justice warrior for the past four years, but we don't want that anymore. You want a woman president so bad? I'm sure that it's not one that's gonna be a complete embarrassment to our country. When push comes to shove, it's not gonna matter what's in her pants or the color of her skin. It's that you start actually using your brain because we can't afford another four years of this have a good day they're eating cats they're eating dogs i don't know if it's true yes they are eating cat eating dogs some is training on social media something recently happened danny batch on cnn will regret having jd vance on her show i don't know if they will ever call him up again if you notice this lady had an interview with Kamala and it was the kind of questions were insecure questions. Now when Jada Evans appeared here, questions surfaced about what is happening in Ohio. Hmm, she could not allow him to respond. The manner in which he handled this interview was amazing. He tweeted this out. Kamala Harris dropped 20,000 Haitian migrants into a small Ohio town and chaos has in Russia. Housing shortages have caused rent to skyrocket. Hospitals are overrun. Schools are all equipped to teach students who don't speak English and the roads are unsafe as unlicensed drivers have caused a massive increase in runways accidents. They're eating cats. They're eating dogs. I don't know if it's true. And one of the situations that I don't see people talking about a whole bunch is driving through Springfield, Ohio. I am terrified to drive my car through Springfield, Ohio. It is a scary place to drive your car through. Um, they do not know what lane to turn from. They do not know any traffic laws. Now, um, I did go into the DMV a couple days ago and the workers were talking about there are a lot of them trying to at least figure it out um, and learn the law and stuff like that. So that's good. That's a good thing. Another thing that I do hate about living here right now is it is dangerous going through your store. I've been, um, um, I don't ever hear a lot of women talking about this, but when I do talk to women about this, they do bring it up and they do say the same thing. So I know I'm not the only one, but I've been stalked through stores by Haitian men. Um, it's to the point where I would tell them like, hey, stop following me. And it's not like, oh, you're just being nervous. They ain't really following you. Yes, bitch, they're following me. If you go to the milk aisle, go to the freaking detailing section and go to the toy section and go to the toilet seat aisle, go to the dog food aisle and they're same ones are following you around, they're stalking you. They're stalking. Yes, before we go into this clip of J.D. Eva destroying CNN, this lady just confirmed what he said. He tweeted the and even said on CNN, though they struggle to argue that after watching these ladies and other clips, it made me to draw the conclusions that it is happening. If you see the mainstream media is now picking this up because it's making news on social media, these people in this place are not safe. They will never say it. These People calls from the Dana, and they're telling me this stuff is happening. Dana, would you like to ask me questions and then let me answer them, or would you like to debate me uh, on on these topics? I noticed that when you had Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, you gave them multiple choice answers to the questions that you asked, and you allowed them to answer the questions. I'm happy to hear to be here to talk about policy, but if you're going to interrupt me every single time that I open my mouth, then why am I even doing this? So please ask a question and I'd ask you to be polite enough to yes. let me answer it. Yes, I, I am. And I think that uh... some first pick this man, I was doubting. I have seen him over and over defending Trump in a way I've never seen before. J.D. Vance is doing the right thing so far. This is the best. We saw the interview with Kamala. It was like MCQ questions. 
Dana, first of all, let me just respond to, to a couple of things that you said. But I want to start with something you said, which I think is frankly disgusting and is more appropriate for a Democratic propagandist than it is for an American journalist. There is nothing that I have said that has led to threats against these hospitals. These hospitals, the bomb threats and so forth, it's disgusting. The violence is disgusting. We condemn it. We condemn all violence. Senator, and this happened of after you and but President say, Trump no, no, were, Dana, on no, the, Dana, were on the debate say, stage, said Dana, that no, cats and dogs you were asked, being you, you eaten. You asked a question, Dana, and, and I'm going to go ahead and answer it. What after we that, said, they were threatened. What we have said is that this town has suffered terribly under the, pro, under the policies of Kamala Harris. Now, you just accused accuse me of inciting violence against the community when all that I've done is surface the complaints of my constituents, people who are suffering because of Kamala Harris's policies. Are we not allowed to talk about these problems because some psychopaths are threatening violence? We can condemn the violence on the one hand, but also talk about the terrible consequences of Kamala Harris's open border on the other hand. Now, let me just fact check a couple of other things that you said, Dana, because it's important. You said that all of these these migrants are in the country legally. They are in the country through what's called temporary protective status. Right. That is when Kamala Harris waved a magic amnesty wand, taking people and giving them legal status. That is not a. That is not to say that they're here legally. That is a terrible indictment of her amnesty policies that have further opened the but border not, and further but it's caused not illegal. terrible you might, migration. You might. This is a master class. Daniel Batch was struggling to pull this, though they have been doing this now for days, putting blame, like, oh, because Trump said this, they want to attach all the, tra oh, Trump caused this. Look into the situation. Why are they not looking into, is it actually happening? Are these people okay? I want to see that aspect where they will talk about look into the problems these people are facing. They should not only focus on that kind of they should look into it. There are a lot of things he has outlined here. The lady knows the truth, but the way they spin it, no election is coming up. A lot of people are so concerned with this. Attributing this, I knew that immediately they will look for something. Oh, the town was locked down because of this. It was that. And here we are. It is insane to see how this mainstream media continue to pass out propaganda in certain situations like these. Risk. Then on top of that, it's the Laura Loomer of it all. She's a, um, I wouldn't even call her necessarily a conservative activist. She's a conspiracist. And the sad thing is, look, Springfield, Ohio has real issues. And just for the record, I'm a big girl. Anybody can tell me to shut up if they want to. <laughs> I, uh... You know, I, I do want to try to be polite to, the, to, to my guests. They have acknowledged here that there is a problem. They should look into it and stop all this, you know, gameplay. She is responding to J.D. Evans, you know, shutting her up in her show. It's insane. When you call up someone for interview, allow them to speak. Don't always try to interrupt. But when it's the other party, oh, you don't do that. That is where the hypocrisy you know, get was this lady is now threatening to sue him. Laura Slambima, after real time host, insinuated she is effing Trump. She said, Laura Loomer said, Taylor Swift, she believes, is in an arranged relationship with Travis Kelsey to influence the 2024 election. I think maybe Laura Loomer's in an arranged relationship. <laughs> to affect the election because she's very close to Trump. She's 31, looks like his type. I think we may have our, our answer this week. I think it might be Laura Loomer. I'm just saying. I'm, here's my, my- The coordinated attack on Laura is beyond control. Bima suggesting that Laura is having a relationship with Trump is something I don't get. I think I'm going to do a full segment just because of that so people can understand exactly what is going on. And you look at polls on X when they've done, I think Musk might have done one. I think there's a few of them. It's like 73% said they're voting for Trump. For Trump. Okay, yeah. She went for the handshake. Incredible display of the awkward tension that happens when your son is dating a biracial girl and you meet her parents for the first time. <laughs> they are angry that Kamala was not supposed to greet him. I've seen videos these people are putting out. Like, why would she do that? This is why I say, like, we shouldn't demean Trump supporters. We shouldn't call them no. names. <laughs> Trump has come in the spin room, just so you know. That has happened. 
Newly reported by NBC News, Vice President Kamala Harris has spoken recently and repeatedly with former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. You could not do in four years. It is insane to think that... You really want Trump to lose this election, right? No. Um, no, no, you don't? No. Really? So that debate was a bunch of BS. Well, my friends, Kamala Harris deserves an Academy Award for gaslighting, deflecting... Of course she didn't. We still have to have a controlled border, a secure border. If you are over 18, please register to vote for something else that's very important coming out. Look at this. She's only up by 15 points. Caught Taylor Swift, as though I have that power. I'm allowed to criticize Taylor Swift. Disconnected from the interests. 